Blake here with Total Wrap Up, and I am hanging out with Big Frida. Big Frida, what's uh, going on? What's going on? I see you brought me some, some treats, some okay, tasty treats. Oh, okay, Cafe Zumar. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, too. Well, you know, we're at Buku Fest. Buku means a lot of. Of course. So I want to know, you have Buku what? Buku ass, Buku fun, Buku everything. <laughs> Buku everything. Yeah. And Buku style. Yes, very much Buku Tell me a little style. bit about your personal style. Well, I, whatever I'm feeling, I just put it together. You know, go with my flow, however I'm feeling today. Of course, this is how I'm feeling today. You feeling uh, some love going yeah, on. Yeah, very feeling much, feeling a little hot pink <laughs> love. And I'm just here to spread it. Absolutely. So, Frida, tell me a little bit about what inspires your music. Um, what inspires my music most definitely is my fans um, who help me be creative, the energy that they give me in the room. Um, that's where I get it from, you know, that wanting to be creative. My fans brings all that to me, and um, that's very important to me. So if you could collaborate with anyone in the next few months, who would it be and why? Oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. She's the diva. She towed it up at the Super at the Super Bowl. She did. She's <laughs> definitely the diva. And I always want to do something with B. Um, she's like a, a idol of mine. So definitely, um, I, she would definitely be number one on the list. So, so B, if you're watching, Frida, Frida's trying to holler at you. B, Frida trying to bring the beat to the beat. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely. So, Frida, you, you know, we're at Buku Fest, a lot of dance going on. I want you to teach me your favorite Buku dance. My, well, uh, I'm going to have a favorite Buku dance for you when I get ready to get on stage. It's okay. going to definitely be dealing with the ads. <laughs> a lot yes. of bounce going on. Yes, a lot of bounce like going on. So, Frida, I mean, you know, New Orleans is such an, a, such a, an inspiring place for musicians. What do you think is going to happen to the EDM music scene here in New Orleans in the next two, three years? Um, it's just going to keep growing and getting bigger and better. Um, you know, Buku Fest and all the other festivals, Jazz Fest, and everything that we have going on here, you know, helps the city, help bring money into the city, and show how creative and all the artists that we have, from the jazz musicians to the bounce artists to the hip-hop artists, and, you know, to the gospel artists, we're just so creative here. And, you know, we're definitely a musical city, a city of full of joy and love. And um, that's why, you know, in the next two, three years, yeah, we're definitely going to just keep growing and elevating to the next level and becoming bigger and better, I think. Well, we are so excited about your international success and you bringing us some attention here and all that great stuff. And we can't wait to see what's next from you. Yes, Can you definitely. give our, Can you give our NOLA Wrap-Up fans a quick shout? Girl, down, this big fruit of the Queen Diva, your best of believer, representing right here from the NOLA, baby. I am the Queen of NOLA. You heard me? You already know. Girl, down. You heard her word. Have you heard? Let's close out with a beignet right quick. Okay. Ciao. <laughs> Bye, guys.